Shalom mishpachim and chavarim. Chavarim means friends, but it's more than friends. It's like uh, study partners, and I view all of you as my chavarim. So for those of you who will be celebrating Pesach in May 2021, here's a little box of matzah, <laughs> which I did a little LED project on. So uh, there's all kinds of matzah out there. Um, use discernment. Um, the following um, are some radio shows that uh, I selected some clips that I wanted to share with you. Um, it's important information to be aware of, but live your life as Yahweh leads you. And to speak about religion, I want to get to something that I, I really started saying in many talks about two or three years ago. When I think about my upbringing, my father was a minister. And I think about the creation story. And God creates man in his image and likeness. You know, you were created. And he gives Adam and Eve paradise says, I have given you a perfect world that you will need nothing. You will, there's, you know, everything will be taken care of. You'll have dominion over all the animals and the plant life. I only have one rule for you. One rule. Do not eat of that tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And I question that, you know, growing up as a kid, like, why wouldn't I want to be knowledgeable? Why wouldn't I want to know what's good and bad? And now I think I understand this better than I've ever understood it before. What it means is don't ever believe that you can judge the way God judges. Don't ever Amen. believe You're that right. you can kill one virus inside of a human being that is teeming with millions and billions of viruses in our stomach, on our skin. I have a perfect dance, a perfect balance that I've created as God. You're perfect. Start messing with that. Start thinking you're more knowledgeable than I am and let you know, do that and you will surely die. And I was sitting at the Easter services yesterday. We're still shopping for the right church for our family. Um, and, you know, everybody's message is great. I don't really mean to put anybody down. But he was the, the minister was talking about, you know, Jesus plus nothing, that it doesn't take anything except the belief in Jesus. And, and, and I'm not, you know, I'm, whatever religion you practice, they're all saying the same thing. There's one God, right? At the heart of all religion really is the number one truth. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. And I think about that Adam and Eve story. And I think about God comes back into Eden. And Adam and Eve are hiding, you know, and they step out. And God sees that they've covered themselves with leaves, uh, fig leaves. He says, what have you done? And they said, well, it became obvious. We ate of that tree and the serpent told us that we were naked, told us that we were imperfect. And so that somehow to be perfect, we had to cover ourselves and God casts them out. You can't have the beauty that I've handed you. And I sat there in this giant church and then maybe about 10 or 20 of us not wearing masks in a sea of people wearing masks, all discussing creation, creating the image and likeness of God, faith in Jesus. Jesus said, your faith will make you whole. Nothing can take you out. And I think if this isn't a fig leaf over our face, Amen. if this isn't saying, God, you have messed up. You didn't know there was going to be a coronavirus that could kill people. Yep. You didn't know there was bacteria on this planet. And, and Fauci, you know, the great Fauci, that God I'm holding over you is telling me the only way to be saved and protect others is to put this fig leaf over my face. I just, I don't understand it. I don't understand where the churches in this world are at, the synagogues, the temples. I don't know what you're doing. How can you believe that this cold virus, which is all that it is, is going to kill you? Have you completely lost faith? I think we have. And if we don't return to our faith and our understanding that it is men with God complexes, the Tony Fauci's, the Bill Gates of the world, I'm not saying they're evil, that they're trying to kill you. I'm telling you they're going to kill you because of their hubris, because of their belief and their knowledge over all else. Bill Gates thinks he is going to save the world by vaccinating everybody. By, by now he's going to block out the sun He's going to block out the life-giving force of this planet to cool the earth. I got news for you, Bill. Human beings may or may not last on this planet, but the planet doesn't need our help. It will survive no matter what we do here. But an idiot like you 
blocking out the sun, which could affect how we grow food, will affect how our vitamin D gets into our bodies, which truly is our immune system, will block our connection to the balance that God created. Anybody that listens to these people should not call themselves a devout Jew, should not call themselves a devout Christian or a Muslim. You clearly have put another God before you, and it's a man. And these men are going to get us all killed if we don't return to our God-given truth, which is only God can really heal this situation. Amen. Trust in that. Amen. That's exactly right. And that was Dale Bigtree back on. If you want to watch the interview that we did, I'll have that in the archives as well. I thought that was very important uh, to put out. Now, I did, I did make a correction. Christianity does have something different that everybody else doesn't have because we're not looking for our fig leaves to be put on. Uh, we're actually having looking to have those cast away. Why? Because we are to put on the Lord Jesus Christ. We're to put on the one who gave himself so that he could cleanse us of sin of our violation of God's commands and of his law. And so, but as far as putting other gods before uh, us, Dell was right on in that. And what's happened is, is the people have followed, just like it says in Revelation 18, 23, that they have been deceived by their sorcery. They've been deceived by their sorcery. Now, I talked about Bill Gates the other day. Um, what was that? Was that yesterday that I did that? No, that was on... I don't know what day I'm in here, uh, Monday or Tuesday. Uh, so I'll try to remember to throw that one in the archive, too, if you've not seen that. But here's the thing. What Dell has presented us with is very simple. It's so easy, anybody can understand it. You know there's a problem with the system. You know there's going to be problems with these vaccines that have not gone through the full testing that Donald Trump wants credit for, for rushing out in mere months that should have taken years. And yeah, he's going to get it from this ministry, I'm going to tell you. He's going to get all the credit for all of the deaths and all of the adverse effects. Okay? And the, the issue is, is this. If we cannot see clearly what is going on here, you will not see clearly what's fixing to come behind it. You're not going to see what's coming behind it. And I played the part here for Dell uh, on the mask issue. Because if you're a person still doing that, or if you've been doing that, you're just setting yourself up to take the jab later on down the road. By the way, just to let you know, we're going to have a, um, a, a form up today for students who are being pressured into, because I know there's certain states where they're pressuring into um, doing the, uh, getting getting the vaccine to go to school. We're going to have a form for you, okay, Uh, up online. You can take it. You can have those in authority sign off on it, that they're going to be responsible for you when you're forced to take it, okay? Not that you should take it anyway. Uh, If anything, just you want my opinion about it? <laughs> Parents, you need to keep your kids out of school if that's what they're going to rec- if, if that's what they're going to require. You keep them out. But take this here and see if they'll if they'll follow it. We've already got one up from yesterday. It's a form for employees uh, whose employers are requiring COVID nineteen injections. You take and put it back on them. Okay, this is from Corey Lynn. There's a form down at the bottom of the uh, of the archive that you can download. And basically, it's asking things like this. If I agree to receive this injection, does my employee health insurance plan provide coverage, complete coverage, should I experience an adverse event or even death? As an employee, does my life insurance policy provide any coverage in the, in the event that I die from this? Um, is, as an employee, will you be providing workers' compensation, disability insurance, or other resources if I have these kinds of things happen to me? The FDA requires that... The EUA vaccine recipients be provided with certain vaccine-specific information. This is called um, informed consent to help them make an informed decision about vaccination. And they're asking about uh, the sheets there because none of these people are receiving this stuff. Okay? Several questions. Take to your employer. Get them to sign off on it. I'll guarantee you, if you have one, man, I'd almost be willing to... To give twenty dollars if you got an employer who actually sell that. I know twenty dollars isn't a lot, but I'm pretty 
frugal and tight guy, okay? You won't have an employer sign this. They're not going to take the responsibility for that jab, even though they're going to try to require it of you, okay? Now, we're going to have one for students as well. Um, that one will be published this morning if you're interested in getting that and putting it back on them. Make them feel the heat of what's going on there. And then don't take the jab. Just Even if they sign it, don't take it. I mean, my goodness. I, you you got to be a special kind of stupid if you take it after you've listened to what you've heard this morning. You, you really do. I... I the fact that we will be reporting on people, both famous and infamous, who will take the te- take the tests, and the tests are just as bad. I don't know if you've seen those things that they use. They stick up your nose. That's not a cotton swab. The lady was showing it just rubbing it gently on some meat, and the little things on the end are going into the meat. They're getting into your skin, into your sinus cavities. I wonder what all kinds of problems that's going to create. And that's just a test. Not to mention the vaccine. Look, God has told us he's made us perfectly. As Dell said, very eloquently, by the way. The life of the flesh is in our blood. How are you taking care of your blood? How are you taking care of your body? What are you putting into it that's building that immune system? God has told us what to eat, what not to eat. He's provided that. He's told us not to mix. He's told us to trust him that he's our healer. Well, how is he our healer? Well, he's our healer by he's laid out what we should be partaking of. And I'm telling you right now, the lies that are being told in order to make billions of dollars, that's what this is about, and control, are absolutely incredible. And the people that you would think that would tell you the truth are not telling you the truth. And somebody needs to be held accountable. It's That's all we got for today. We got the music up there a little loud. Sorry about that. All right. 23 hours. We'll be back with you 6 a.m. tomorrow. Appreciate you guys, everybody, being hanging with us. And don't miss Bradley. 3 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Central. SonsofLibertyMedia.com. See ya. Well, here is the premiere of a very important piece of information that will be posted as uh, soon as we transmit this and premiere it out to all these radio and TV stations. This is Greg Reese's latest piece on the secrets of the Illuminati revealed in the mindset, the operating system of these selfish demons. Lucifer, son of the morning, is it he who bears the light? Doubt it not. That's the beginning of their big secret. God is the devil, and we're already in hell right now. Altion Jurek, best known as Altion Childs, is an Australian performer who topped the charts after winning the second season of X Factor Australia in 2010. On April 15th of this year, Altion published a five-hour video claiming he was initiated into the Freemasons and that Freemasonry is hiding the true world religion, Satanism. He goes on to reveal how every initiate must swear a vow of secrecy to never reveal the secrets of Freemasonry to anyone whatsoever under penalty of having their body severed in two and their bowels burned to ashes, their throat slit and their tongue torn out by the roots. This is the sign you do upon entering and exiting the ritual room while facing the Grand Master. It stands for throat slit, and it goes like this. They use symbolic gestures to flaunt their secret religion, such as the sign of the Master of the Second Veil, or the Hidden Hand, the sign of silence. As you move up the ranks of Freemasonry, the oaths of silence for taking each degree become more brutal having your heart torn out and fed to wild beasts, your head struck off and placed on the highest spire of Christendom, destroying your business and reputation, and hanging you in your own home. Masonic rules clearly stipulate that the Lodge has the authority and obligation to uphold these mandates and penalize any member who violates them. Masonic rules also warn members from inviting the vulgar and profane. The profane is what they call the uninitiated, 
anyone outside their secret order. As one climbs the ladder of power in Freemasonry, each degree requires more barbaric acts from the initiate. From being humiliated and stepped on, drinking wine from a human skull, stabbing human skulls. And in one of the highest degrees, the initiate removes a blindfold to find a severed human head lying on the floor with a bloody knife beside it. He is instructed to take the knife in his right hand and the head in his left. Eventually, this leads the initiate to accept human sacrifice as a rite of initiation, which is the ultimate goal of this unholy hierarchy. 33rd degree Mason Manley P. Hall, who was named Freemason of the Century, wrote that Freemasonry is a religion and that initiates are intentionally misled until they reach the highest levels. He wrote that Freemasonry is an outer organization concealing an inner brotherhood, one visible and one invisible. The invisible is dedicated to the service of a mysterious arcanum arcanorum. Having a belief in a supreme being is required to become a Mason. And the atheist is looked upon by the Mason as being the most vulgar and despicable of mankind. But who is the supreme being in Masonry? Freemasonry is Satanism in disguise. 33rd degree sovereign grand commander of the Scottish Rite, Albert Pike, wrote in Morals and Dogma that Lucifer is the light bearer. 33rd degree Mason Albert Mackey wrote that Lucifer is good, light, victory, and initiation. And 33rd degree Freemason of the century, Manly P. Hall, wrote that the mystery of the craft is the seething, surging energies of Lucifer that can be wielded by the initiate. This is the symbol for Satanism, and this is the symbol for female Freemasonry, the order of the Eastern Star. The Satanic Bible lists Baphomet as the symbol of Satan worshipped by the highest level of Freemasonry, the Templar Masons. In the Satanic rituals, it is written that Masonic orders contain the most influential men in government, and virtually every occult order has Masonic roots, and that every rite of the Nazis' black order employed Masonic principles. Both Satanism and Masonic rituals involve the goat, the coffin, and the death's head. Anton LaVey wrote that the Masonic rituals serve as a screening process for organized Satanism. Freemasons can also be seen making the 666 hand gesture. I'm a Christian, sir. I'm pure and virtuous and wholesome and innocent. How can you say anything about, about me? Sir, you need to be born again. Is, I am born again. Is that, now, did you just say that you are Lucifer? I am Lucifer. Okay, define Lucifer for me. Pure, virtuous, wholesome, innocent individual that's out to help people. Lucifer is? Yeah. Luc say that again. Lucifer is a pure, holy... Virtuous. Virtuous. Now, see the Lucifer that God created? That's the same one. At the highest level of the so-called Illuminati is a perverted sex cult, which is why high-level Mason Walt Disney not only saturated his films with Masonic hand gestures and 666, but also added subliminal images with hidden sexuality. Altion claims that the square and compass are actually symbolizing the sex act, the woman's legs spread open and a man mounting her. The G symbolizes the generative principle of creation. The all-seeing eye symbolizes the head of the penis. And the rays shooting forth the orgasm. Each year, 13 high-level Masons may be invited to join the top of this monstrous pyramid, the Royal Order of Jesters, dedicated to nothing but sexual depravity. There is no sin. There is only nature. Why do you think that witchcraft has disappeared? It never disappeared. It was hidden, forced to go into hiding by the appearance of Jesus on the human scene. Another reason why he's passionately hated. 33rd degree Mason Aleister Crowley wrote how he pecks at the eyes of Jesus on the cross. How the new age will arise from All right, the destruction the full report has got three minutes left and it's very good and it's posted at band.video and I want you to go there and I want you to share it and this report is extremely accurate everything in it is very accurate but look at what I have on this table right here and that's why I put this to the 
there about six months ago as a message to the globalist, or I guess about eight months ago now, right, right before the whole campaign. Uh, because to them, that's a blasphemous symbol. It's a dagger and a skull, but then the symbol of, I think, Christ, eternal life, or those wings. Just as a message that the Holy Spirit is in control of life and death and not them. And that's just, and, the, and that the clock is ticking down and that they're not immortal. They're going to face the great judgment. Now, only one of those higher-level masons would know what that means, but I want to be very specific here. This all goes back to the Babylonian mystery religions, Egypt, Greece, and to Solomon's Temple. And there's different arms of the Masons. So some will say, well, George Washington was a Christian, which he was, but he was in the Scottish Rite. And so the whole Hollywood angle of Masons and the whole modern Aleister Crowley system has been taken over by the satanic orders that were inside the Masonic system. And, of course, that goes back to right before 1776 and Adam Weishaupt, who sought to take over the Masonic orders. Now, the Masonic orders, back to the time of Solomon, had a satanic vein. And they were, and Solomon was conjuring demons. And that's what the, you know, the Star of David is really the seal of Solomon and all of that. And so this goes all the way back pre-Christianity to Egypt, mainly, and then Babylon and Greece uh, after that. And, 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 of course, the Sumerian text. And really, it's all of that knowledge and ancient science and alchemy was held by Masons. And so it's a college of secret knowledge. There, there becomes a, a modern Christian view of it that it is, it is, it is always and totally a satanic enterprise, and it is true that it has become a satanic enterprise because masonry has been taken over at the top by Satanists. And if you knew this and done research, you'd know that George Washington wrote dozens of letters that are in the National Archives that you can read online. You can actually see his text where he warned of the Illuminati and the Satanists taking over masonry and that it was an absolutely terrible thing that was happening. So people can ask me how I like George Washington, but then I put reports out like this. Well, we'll have a part two report. Now there's Colonel Aquino and these Satanists are a joke, ladies and gentlemen, but they infest things. They take over all these ancient orders. Uh, and, and now all the mystery schools are run by them because again, the mystery schools are not Christian. They predate Christ. They predate Judaism. They are the original system.